The important thing when you get separated is to start going out, trying new things, just getting over it. Nine puffing ladies missing tennis balls for half an hour is not my idea of getting over Joe. <laughs> well, come on, give it a chance. This was only your first day out there. Oh, that's easy for you to say, Sal. You're a terrific player. You are. You were really whacking that ball. That's because I got this trick. See, I just imagine that every ball has my ex-husband's face on it. <laughs> Doesn't say Spalding, it says Lloyd. <laughs> Maybe you ought to try it. Nah, yeah, I don't think it'll work for me. I'd look at the ball, I'd see this cute little Joe head, and I wouldn't have the heart to bash his fuzzle. Rhoda! <laughs> Hi, Sally. Rhoda, guess what? The greatest thing? Nick Lobo called me from the airport. He's back from Las Vegas, and he's coming over to see me now. Well, forgive me if I don't throw confetti, huh? <laughs> Rhoda, come on. Listen, I'm really worried. Do I look too thin? <laughs> that is not a question that Morgan Stern's asking. <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm afraid Nick's gonna notice I lost some weight, and he liked me the way I was. Brenda, please relax. You look great. Almost pudgy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sally, wait till you meet Nick. He's this terrific musician I've been dating. You're gonna love him. Mm. Who does he play with? Ah, uh, believe me, you do not know. You have not heard of him. No one has. Yeah, no, really, I'm into music. I better have heard of him. Who does he play with? He's with the Accorda Cants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember them on Ed Sullivan. He's not the midget, is he? <laughs> <laughs> What's Nick? I'll get it, I'll get it, I got it. Yeah, Carlton. Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. There's a gentleman on his way up to see you, and you better be in the mood for dancing. He has a small piano strapped to his chest. <laughs> it's him. It's Nick. Hey, little fox. Hey, sis. Hey, I don't know you. Sally. This is the one, and fortunately the only, hey. Nick Lobo. Nick, this is Sally Gallagher, my friend. Hey, long, tall Sally. Hey. <laughs> hey. And now, little fox, back to you. Does he always wear that? Some people have chest hair. Oh. <laughs> so... Tell us, Nick, how was Las Vegas? Hey, hey, after four weeks in Vegas, I am so glad to get home to you, really. See what I mean? Isn't it great? Yeah, after a month of nothing but long-legged showgirls with beautiful bods, it's great to get back to a basic chick like you. Thanks, Nick. I think I got a face for your tennis balls. <laughs> Hey, hey, sis, I think you've done something different with this place. I can't quite put my finger on it. I moved. <laughs> Maybe that's it. <laughs> hey, so where's my man? My main man, Joe. Joseph, where is he? Uh, Nick, Nick, I'll tell you later. Is he working? Nick, forget it. Hey, sis, when's he coming back? I don't know. He isn't dead, is he? <laughs> I would be cruddy if he was dead. Nick, please. The truth is, Joe and I are separated. Oh. So he's not here. Can't get one by you, Nick. Separated, hey, that's really rough. Hey, but let me tell you something. Look on the bright side, huh? At least he's not dead. Who <laughs> thought? Yeah, uh, let me tell you something else. Oh, happy day. Uh, 
it's not doing you any good seeing me and Brenda so happy together like this. So uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do for you, Rhoda. We're going to take our act and move it downstairs. That's us, the captain and Schlemiel. <laughs> Let's go, Brenda. I mean, you and I ain't really said hello yet, you know? Oh, yeah. Talk. I'm just gonna do a lot of talking. <laughs> Why are you brushing your hair like that? Because I don't smoke. <laughs> oh, Nick. Nick, I missed you so much. Hey, hey. I could tell. Yeah. Uh, Nick, did you get all my letters? I wrote you twice a week. Every one. Did you get my postcard? Yeah. Yeah. Here it is. I framed it. So beautiful what you wrote here, Nick. Dear Brenda, with every note I play, I make believe I'm squeezing you. <laughs> See ya, Nick. I, you know, I didn't write what I wanted to on that postcard because uh, I didn't want to get arrested for exciting the postal clerks. <laughs> oh, Nick, I gotta tell you, I'm really glad you're back. Hey, hey, not only am I back, but I am flying. And tonight, Nick Lobo's gonna take you out to hit a couple of hot spots Believe me, Brenda, you're gonna have the greatest night of your life. Oh, wait a minute, Nick, I can't. Can't what? Can't go. Why not? Well, Rhoda's been in the dumps lately about Joe and everything. I didn't know you were coming, so I kind of promised her we'd go to the movies tonight. Hey, hey. No sweat. <laughs> we'll take her with us, huh? Oh, Nick, that would be so perfect because that's just what she needs right now, to be around people, have some fun. I'm so glad you thought of it. Oh, Nick, you know, you're really terrific. He, you're terrific, too. Really? Sure. Otherwise, I would have cut bait a long time ago. <laughs> she, uh, look, I gotta go home and change. I'll pick you up about 8 o'clock, all right? Great. Oh, Brenda, hey, hey, I almost forgot. What? Remember just before I went for Vegas, uh, you asked me to put $5 on 22 black? Yeah? You owe me $5. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hello, Carl. And this is Sally Gallagher. You remember me. I'm the woman who's been waiting three years for a cab. Oh, yes. Get one yet? <laughs> See, I thought you might be able to help me, since you're the only one handy who has a red flashlight and a whistle. Oh, no, I'm not. How about those two girls who hang out on the corner? <laughs> Carl, just get me the cab, huh? Rhoda? Yeah? Are you finished with your wine yet? Yeah, sure. Fine. Well, if you were, I just thought I'd wash them out. Oh, Sally, what is this with washing the dishes? You make me feel like a slob in my own house. Rhoda, I'm a stewardess. I see an empty glass. I think we're landing in Detroit. <laughs> you know, Sal, when Brenda called me before, I realized how much trouble I'm in. Deep trouble. I am actually going out for a night on the town with Nick Lobo. Oh, come on, a couple of hours. Yeah, it could yeah. be fun. I know, that's what Brenda says. You know, <laughs> that I should, you know, be getting out more. Keep active, move around. Apparently that's the best thing for separation. Or frostbite. <laughs> <sighs> no, look, you made the right decision. You think? Yeah, if you didn't go with Nick, you'd just be sitting here all by yourself, staring at the wall, feeling miserable. Sounds good. <laughs> Hi, Sally. Hi. Rhoda, Nick's gonna be here any minute. Are you ready? Well, let's just say I'm dressed. Come on, Rhoda, we're gonna have a wonderful time tonight. Mm -hmm. Sally, why don't you borrow some clothes from Rhoda and come with us? Yes, uh, Sally. No, no. Oh, I, yes, I, join us. Uh, no, why I, not? I, re I really, I, I can't. I, uh, actually, I would love to, Brenda. I can't go because uh, I don't wanna go. <laughs> Hey, everybody, I'm back. Uh, you all set? You bet we are. We're ready. Great, great. Hey, and Rhoda, get your mojo working. Because tonight you're going out with a class act. 
I brought along a little surprise to cheer you up. And now, live and in person, direct from Vegas, Johnny Venture! All right. <laughs> Which one's mine? No, don't tell me. Tell me. That one. All right. <laughs> Your name is Johnny Venture? <laughs> yeah. Didn't you used to be in a comic book with wings on your feet? That's cute. That's cute. I like broads with brass. The, uh, Johnny just blew in from Vegas. We were on the same plane together. It's amazing they let you through the metal detector. <laughs> Johnny's a singer. He just finished playing in the lounge at the Sands. Men's or women's? Hey, hey, hey. He's got the greatest set of pipes in town. Ask anybody. I mean, this man once played golf with Vic Damone. Nick, Nick, look, you know, I don't need anybody to toot my horn for me. Look, uh... I got a little damp outside, and uh, in the rain, I want to look my best for a lady like you, so... Uh, where's the head? The uh, lounge is right through there. Later. I'm not going. Hey, hey, are you crazy? That's Johnny Venture in there. I didn't know. I didn't know about Johnny. I'm sorry, but, but Nick only did it for you. Hey, come on, sis. Don't get nuts, huh? It's not like he expects to hit the jackpot with his first nickel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sally, my friend. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to laugh. But when I think of you going out with Fonzie's father, I... <laughs> Listen, Rhoda, you know I wouldn't give you advice unless I was sure. And you've been staying home too much. This is a perfect chance for you to get out a little. This is not a date. This is going out with a group. Okay, okay, okay. Rhoda, maybe it won't be fun for you, but can't you just try? You might even be surprised. Hey, everybody, it's showtime. <laughs> maybe we'll all be surprised. Johnny. Yeah. Listen, I want to lay my cards on the table, as they'd say in Vegas. Um, see, I'm, uh, I'm separated just a short time. My husband's clothes are still here, warm, you know? I, I'm not dating, and, and in fact, I'm hoping that my husband and I get back together very soon. Oh, what a woman. I mean, it's fantastic to listen to you. You know, because I got to tell you, after Vegas, I'm up to here with cheap, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'd say up to here. <laughs> Time. You finally got me a cab, huh? Not so fast. It's raining. Everybody wants a cab. I got one cab here, but Mr. Lobo has put in a bit of one dollar for it. Do I hear one fifty? <laughs> yes, yes, one fifty. Do I hear two dollars? You got two. I don't think I've ever been this happy. <laughs> Do I hear three dollars? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me take care of this. Excuse me. Listen, sport, this is Johnny Venture. Now, I got a lot of people up here and we need a cab. I'm going to give you $50. Oh, come on, don't tease me. <laughs> Who is it that said to? Sally, we'll drop you off in the cab. Great. Sure, where are you going, to the hospital? <laughs> hospital? Why would I be going to the hospital? Well, you're a nurse, aren't you? <laughs> I look like a nurse to you? Oh, sure, in Vegas, all the nurses look like that. <laughs> I hate to think what the nuns wear. Hey, uh, Johnny, uh, yeah. do me a favor, will you? Sure. Uh, look, Rhoda's a little on the ropes here, you know, so go light on her, huh? Remember, she just blew a marriage. Oh, don't worry about it. I got it all under control. Hey. All right, let's make it happen. Oh. Hey. hey, Rhoda, uh, listen. I know what you're probably thinking. But just because I look a little flashy doesn't mean I don't have feelings, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're a classy lady, and I appreciate that. So if you just relax, I promise you we'll have a great time, okay? Okay, Johnny. Okay. Ah! <laughs>
Ridiculous. Cramming all these people into one camp. I know. I'm getting car sick. <laughs> Carlton, when you closed the cab door, you were supposed to stay on the outside. Well, it was time for me to go home, and you know how hard it is to get a cab in the rain. Carlton, we are not taking you home. But that's okay. No problem. You kids just drop me off first and then go on your way. Where do you live? New Jersey. <laughs> I lost the button. Oh, that's okay. Here, take one of mine. I never use them. <laughs> you know, Sally, you're kind of wonderful. I love big women. Here, have a swig. There's no bottle in here. He's drinking it out of the bag. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm sitting on somebody's hand. And if it's not out of there by the time I count three, I will break it off. One. Oh, it's okay, Well, It was mine. I can't get it out. All right, leave it. Hey, hey, come on, sis, lighten up. What's bothering you? Nothing, nothing. Hey, come on, something's bothering you. What is it? Nick, it's nothing. Hey, come on, this is Nick. You can tell me. Nick, forget it, really. Look, I know there's something bothering you, and I want to know what it is. You are bothering me. There you go, I'm bothering you. Okay. <laughs> I knew it was something, huh? <laughs> take a break in the action for a little while now, but Ted and the boys are going to keep right on playing for your listening and dining pleasure. And we'll be back with more talent from the impromptu in just a little while, so uh, just hang loose, sir. Huh? Hey, what do you see? Nice to see you. Rod, are you okay? Yeah, Brenda, yeah. Are you sure? Brenda, I'm fine. Oh, good, because I got a little worried when you tried to get out of the cab with Carlton. <laughs> it was nothing, Bren. A fleeting moment of panic. I got right back in when you grabbed me by the hair. <laughs> hey, Brenda, huh? Huh? You were right, Nick. This is terrific. Yeah, yeah. You would never believe it, but this place once used to be a church. No kidding. Hey, would I lie to you in here? <laughs> seen Johnny around for a while. Did he leave? Hey, don't get nervous. He just stopped off to talk to a couple of guys. He'll be right back. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, Nick, can I talk to you about something? Sure, sure. What? I'm a little concerned about Rhoda, the way things are going tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been meaning to say something to her about that. Hey, Rhoda, Rhoda. Uh, look, uh, I know you've been going through a pretty rough time lately, and there's one thing I want you to understand. If you don't liven up pretty quick, Johnny's gonna drop you like a hot potato. Hey, everybody, I got somebody I want you to meet. This is my man, Steve Kovacs. He's the owner of the place and my best friend for life. This is Nick, right? Hey. Little Brenda in the middle. All right, all right. And this is Rhoda. All right, all right. Hey, Johnny, it's great to see you. Oh, you're a beautiful guy, pal. Huh? I love you, pal. I love hey. you too, pal. <laughs> Oh, 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 wait, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, I'm choking. Hey, hey, be careful. My sister made that. Watch out. Anybody know a jeweler who makes house calls? <laughs> All right, I got it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Could have choked. Well, well, anyhow, <laughs> you uh, kids must be starving, huh? Hey, definitely. Hey, great, here comes your food now, Walter. Dinner for four on the house, hey, huh? Oh, my man. Hey, enjoy, enjoy, oh. huh? Take, take care, Steve. Yeah. Huh? This is rope. You didn't think we were going to have a good time, did you? Mm-mm. And you are, aren't you? Yeah. Now, why do you think that is? Because your elbow's in the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Now, hear this. Now, hear this. Are we in luck tonight, folks? There's a special guy sitting right out there. And if we play our cards right, we might just get him to come up to do a couple of numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Magnetism himself, Johnny Venture! Hey, are we in luck 
up tonight. There's another guy out there that we all know, fresh from four weeks in Las Vegas, Nick Bozo. Oh, please, please. All right, I'll do it, I'll do it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, I wasn't uh, really prepared for anything tonight, but... Uh... One, two, three, four. Oh, whether I'm right. Oh, whether I'm wrong. Whether I find my place in this world or never belong. I've got to be me. Johnny Venture. With a song in my heart and a heart full of songs. And I want to take this opportunity right now to dedicate my first tune of the evening to a wonderful young lady who's just getting to know me. <laughs> hey, Jerry, throw a follow spot on her, will you? I'm leaving. No, 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 no stay, stay. It's still better than being no. And you say the other I'll say neither And you say neither Either, either Neither, neither Let's call the whole thing off I say tomato And you say Get out of here I say potato And you say Let me alone, will you? Tomato Fuck off Potato Eat it oh, Let's call the whole thing off You got it Didn't no, I? no, no, friend. I just got a great insight into life. What? Sometimes alone is better. Oh. Thanks. Night. I say either, and you say either. I say neither, and you say neither. I still can't believe last night. <laughs> You know, I had a guy like Johnny on a flight to Vegas once. Just when I was giving everybody the safety instructions, he grabbed my microphone and started singing Rhinestone Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Johnny's style, all right. Oh, boy, Sally, he's everything I never wanted in a guy. Loud, pushy, mm -hmm. arrogant, so egotistical. And when I think about last night, I realized something amazing. What's that? I have dated worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, Carlton, what is it? Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. I just want to thank you for a wonderful time in the cab last night. You're very welcome, Carlton. Wait, I have to tell you, I think I lost something in that cab. Yeah, what? My heart. I'm in love with Big Sally. <laughs> 